Nobody knows really what uh, this is yet. No, who we're not. The start of a new SD card, the start of a new project. Not really, we've been doing this for about a year now. It's going to be good though. That makes it very real, doesn't it? Oh, okay. Well, isn't it? I actually ordered these about two years ago. Yeah, it's Glenn. Yeah, that looks cool. Oofed. Cool. Hey, we better get back to work. <laughs> To face without a screen cutting through. I just got this in the post like all of the shimmers are pressed really nicely. I really want to touch it, but I will. But it looks really, really good. Shoot first day, how are you feeling? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today is a really exciting day because I am going to show you Vive. I'm going to do a little tutorial using the Vive products, my products that I have made. I am really nervous. Uh, we launched on Sunday, today's Wednesday. I, what a whirlwind of emotions, let me tell you. But I thought maybe a nice way to do this video would be to, to actually do my whole face of makeup like always while I tell you a little bit of the story and then we'll get into the Vive products. Sound good? So I've already prepped my skin, I'm just going to do my base using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'll link everything that I use down below because I might not mention everything while, I, while I'm telling you the story. So, Vive might have been a little bit of a surprise to you guys because I've not mentioned it. I didn't say that I was developing a line and it's been a little while actually that we have been creating this line and I say we because I have a really amazing small but mighty team working with me on this and it didn't start that way. I started off just by myself. I have always wanted to create a makeup line. I think makeup artists in general, it's always a bit of a dream to create your own product. I used to work in Debenhams, I was a makeup artist for a long time. Not everyone will know that, that I started my career on makeup counters and I worked on makeup counters for four years. I went to college for two years. I was a freelance makeup artist for the whole duration of that, but full time for a year. And then I, I started this job and this became my job quite quickly and I just so love it and I really do see it like working on a makeup counter but instead of working on counter and, and seeing people face to face I'm kind of doing it through a camera and through a screen. Just over two years ago I came up with the name Vive. I say I came up with it, it was kind of staring at me in the face wasn't it? I wanted the people that know me to know that it was my brand but I also wanted the people that come across Vive that don't know me to love it anyway and they don't need to know me to love Vive as well. Vive itself means full of life which 
I really love. You guys all know Charlotte. So Charlotte is one of my great friends. She's one of my bestest friends. And two years ago, she had just finished university. She did graphic design and she came out of uni and I asked her how she would feel about working with me on, on Vive. So basically the way that we work together for the last two years is whenever I would have an idea or a, a kind of vision for a product or the brand and the branding, Charlotte could bring it to life. Some of you might have thought she was my assistant. Charlotte's not my assistant. She is the creative designer of Vive. You might remember that just over a year ago, we went on a, on a girl's trip to Italy. We didn't go on a girl's trip to Italy. We were visiting the lab where the products are made. It's really hard keeping it a secret. I can see, you know, if we didn't vlog, then I think it would have been easier. I share everything with you guys. So it was really bizarre. I'm just using my Charlotte Tilbury powder. Look how dead that is. I need a new one. People started getting their products today. I'm usually, I don't spend a huge amount of time on my phone, right? But since launch, I have been attached to my phone. Obviously we needed to make sure the website was all all right. We had to make sure that everything, like what was going on was stock. And there was just, yeah, I've been sick unwell. It's like a really strange, overwhelming feeling of so much happiness, but oh my God, is it scary? Because when you're working on something in secret for so long and then people can just see it, it's quite a scary thing. I'm also super excited to say that there is a restock coming this weekend. I think we should start with the eyeshadow palette. This is the Essential Palette. So we have 10 huge pans. They are all 3.5 grams each. It was really important to me to have huge pans. And I think it's because when I was a working makeup artist, I would always have my most used palette out of my desk just to, like this, just so I could dip in. So we've got seven mattes and we've got three shimmers. You'll be seeing the swatches at the moment. They are super creamy. This formula was one of the hardest ones to get right. Let me zoom you in. <laughs> Look at my nice flowers as well. This is from the event yesterday. So I'm gonna just prep my eyes with my concealer, the NARS Radiant Creamy in the shade Ginger. So just a little bit of that on my lid. I wanted the eyeshadows to be of artistry quality so artists can use them and really rely on them. But I also wanted them to be so easy to use for everyone, for people that aren't makeup artists. And I feel like the, the general kind of feedback so far is that we've managed that, which is really exciting. I'm gonna go in with Buff, which is this gorgeous transition shade. This one was tricky to make as well. When I was in the lab, I kept on saying that I wanted it more mustardy. And they were like, what? Why do you want a mustard eyeshadow? I was like, trust, trust. So I'm just gonna literally fire that in my crease. And they are a super soft matte, but they have pigment. So I'm just gonna start buffing it in the crease. For me, this shade is just a go-to. I do use it an awful lot just by itself. I'll chuck this on all over my eye and just a little bit of mascara, and then I'm good to go. I'm gonna do a bit of a grungier look today because if you have a look at the, the Vive website, we have five tutorials on there. They're little short tutorials. They're actually on YouTube as well. And you'll see that they are a quite a, they're all quite soft looks. Even the heaviest look, the most glam look is still a gorgeous soft look. And that's just because we want everyone to feel really comfortable and confident using these products. But for all my makeup fanatics, you can get real grungy with this palette. If you've followed me for a while, you'll know that I love using a bronzer to diffuse my eyeshadow kind of into my hairline almost. This shade is perfect for it. So I'm gonna go in with a big brush and a little touch of buff, and I'm just gonna diffuse the edge. I think the people that know me already wouldn't be surprised by this collection, and I know it's a neutral palette, but I had to I had to do a neutral palette to start with. I just think this for us, the, the Essentials collection, as a range to jump off from super smooth. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a slightly denser brush. This is the Sosu Kaylee SK02. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Delicious. So right here, it's, a, it's just like the most delicious warm brown. With the palette, you'll see that I can tuck the lid, the top right underneath to sit flat. But when I am traveling, and when I, when I was traveling, what I would do is dip into my colors like so, and then just flip the palette over to use it as a mirror. And it is just the easiest way to use the palette on the go. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with Delicious. I'm just gonna pack that one in the outer corner. And then with the bigger brush and buff, I'm just gonna tickle the edges just to blend that in. You can also go in with the bigger brush. And I'm gonna blend it onto my lid, but I'm not too worried because I'm gonna go in with the shimmers. Wow. There we go, so we're starting to add some depth. 
Do you know what I like about Delicious as well? It's like a chocolatey brown, but it's not too warm. Ah, oh, so good. So now I'm gonna use the shade Goodnight, which is our black. Now black eyeshadow is very important to me. Hold on, I'll show you. So I'm gonna swatch it. You can see it's super black. When you swatch it, it's black, right? But what is so special to me is how it builds up become really dense and really dark and it's really blendable as well. So on first swatch, this is the kind of thing where I mean swatches are great and when they swatch really strong but I've had blacks before that swatch amazing but as soon as I start applying them on my eye they are so strong that I struggle to blend the edges. So getting this black right was super important to me but it's a very intense black when it's built up and one of my favorite ways to use this black is as a liner uh, so you can obviously use it to kind of darken up your smoky eyes but I love using it to create liner and I've actually in the past used it to create graphic liner as well uh, you can mix a little bit of all night or setting spray on your brush before applying to make it super intense but I'll show you how it works just with a little brush so I'm just going along my lash line with a really tiny dense brush and then I'm going to just start Bringing that up, let's do quite a big line. So I've kind of sketched my shape out. And there's something about using an eyeshadow to create a wing that is so sultry and soft. And I've just changed over to a little angle brush. And then to clean that up, I'm going to go in with a little angle brush and the same concealer I used earlier. And I'm just going to go underneath that wing. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the shimmers. And I actually really like mixing Carrot and Thea together. So Carrot and Thea, I'm going to pick up a little bit of Carrot Firm. No, let's do Thea first. So I pick it up on my brush. I'm going to use a little bit of Urban Decay All Nighter on my brush to dampen it down. Because the brush is now damp, it's going to really help with any fallout. And it also just makes the shimmers really nice and intense. Now this is like a gorgeous dirty gold. And it's a little bit darker as well. One of my favourite ways to wear this shade is actually over a dark eyeshadow like Lava Rock or Goodnight or Delicious. And just pressing that onto my lid. Another way to use these shimmers that's really nice is with your finger. Uh, I'll actually I'll go in with my finger and carrot. It. And the mix of these together is so beautiful and gold. And the dimension is just stunning. And the way that they glitter and sparkle is so beautiful. And I'm actually just going to go in with carrot. And my brush is already kind of damp now and I'm just going to push that just above the crease in the inner corner and do you see the way that that kind of shines? Oh my god! And I'm just going back over the black shadow, good night. Just make sure there's no glitter on it. Now we're going to do under eyes. I am going to use a pencil to start. Just because I love using a pencil as a base for my shadow under my eyes, I just feel like it lasts. I'm going to use the Victoria Beckham Coal Liner in the shade Cacao. I always thought it was cocoa, but I heard someone saying cacao the other day. Go under my eye with that, just at the lash line. And then I'm going to go in with a tiny brush in the shade Delicious again. And we're going to buff that out. And I'm going to do quite a heavy, smoky under eye. And I'm actually going to bring that up to the liner. Another way I love to use the palette is to actually mix the shades in the pans as well. So I want a kind of mixture of good night and delicious, just a slightly darker warm brown. So I just mix them both on my brush and I'm going to go into the crease, just really gentle, just to build that up. I'm going to use Glimmer on my inner corner and I'm actually going to use this with a little bit of the setting spray as well. I just love the foiled look that it gives, but it is the most beautiful inner corner highlight. You can absolutely use this on the brow bone, you can use it across the lid as well actually, you can do so much with it, but I did create it with an inner corner in mind. Oh my god, this so reminds me of makeup I used to do every day, I just love it. And then just to clean up any edges, just get your brush and concealer and you can just buff it away. I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of Cozy just because I want to show you how well it works for this little trick. You can see Cozy here has got a real kind of orangey undertone. It's so good for adding a little bit of depth, a little bit of warmth as well. And it makes eye colours just pop. But I love to use this as a last step just to wash over my big blends. Just to add a little bit more dimension. Let's do some mascara. This is Lash Freak Mascara by Urban Decay. Really good for, for looks like this. Big grungy glam looks. 
this is one of the looks that I've been probably doing the most using the palette. And you can pair it back or you can really vamp it up. Okay, so moving on to highlight, Nova Glow highlighter. Highlight was something that I had to do. These are like the products that I use every single day that can completely change the way that I look and also the way that I feel about myself as well. So, you know, the palette, you can wear it in so many different ways. And highlighter, I just think it's like the jewelry of the face. My shade that I wear is Holy Chic. You can see that this is being pretty loved. I have made my way through a few of these. This is probably one of the products that I teased first. I don't know if you guys will remember but a long time ago I did my little cousin's makeup and I put on the highlighter in the shade Bijou on her. She knew it was from Vive so she said on camera she was like Jamie what highlighter are you using and I was like shut up. Nova Glow highlighter we have three shades we have Bijou, Holy Chic and Riches. It was really important for me to create a shade range that everyone can enjoy. So this is the shade that I use it is the shade Holy Chic and I'm just going to go in with my Smith 103. I'm going to tap my product and then we're just going to gently apply. This highlighter is super finely milled. There is a slight sparkle. It doesn't sit on the skin. It almost melts in with your skin. It is a powder, but it's got more of a powder gel-like texture. I think that powders on dry skin can do the opposite of what a highlight is supposed to do. A highlight is meant to make your skin look glowy and dewy and bouncy. And if a highlight is too powdery for me, it will sit on top of skin and it will just do the opposite. So this really does melt with your skin. A way that I really like to use this is by mixing it with a little bit of lip balm or moisturiser and patting it on with your fingers and it gives a real skin-like dewiness. It's beautiful but I honestly think my favourite way to apply it on myself is just with my highlight brush and onto my cheeks. When developing these highlighters it was really important to me that there was no cast and a cast is basically like a grey shadow that a highlight has if it's not in direct light. So if you look at me straight on there's a light right there that's kind of ruining this trick but if you look at me straight on you can't really tell I've got much on my cheeks but when I turn that's when you get the glow. Another amazing way to wear these highlights is to go in with, actually I'll just show you, <laughs> let me get naked. Okay I've got a wee shoulder out, I've got a big brush here, I'm going to dip in to the highlight, I'm going to give it a little spray again with all nighter, you can just dampen your brush as well if you want but I think all nighter is just amazing for this and then buff that onto the body. You don't need to use a damp brush but it definitely does make it look just unbelievable and it's the quickest way to get a gorgeous highlighted bod. Oh my god. One of my favourite places to do that is down the centre of my legs. Okay so let's highlight the rest of our face. So I'm going to do a little tin man nose. Guys we've really come full circle. Tin man in my own nose, my own highlight and then just down the bridge of my nose. And then I love doing a little bit on my cupid's bow as well. I'm going to just use a tiny touch of this on my brow bone as well, but I'm going to use a flat brush. I'm just going to get a tiny bit. You can use a tiny amount of that highlighter or you can really amp it up. You can go super, super glowy. So again, it was really important that these products would work no matter how you like doing your makeup. If you want to go super natural with these products, you can. And if you want to go super glam, you can. It's all about, you know, how much time have you got? Have you got five minutes? Have you got two hours for us to sit and play with makeup together? You can create a gorgeous face with Vive Makeup. I'm just going to do my little freckle. Okay, now we move on to lips, nude lips, a nude lipstick. Is anybody shocked? We have five modern matte lipsticks and we have five modern lip definers. Lip liner and lipstick for me is a go-to every single day. I knew it had to be nude shades and I knew it had to be a range of shades as well. One thing that you might notice in the swatches is Vive and Treasure are quite similar in depth and 90s and Coming in Hot are quite similar in depth. What's really different about them is the undertone. So Vive is a proper pale beige nude. It's such a 90s nude, whereas Treasure is much peachier. 90s is a cool toned brown nude. Coming in hot is warmer. And then Power Suit is just, I've been sneaky wearing that one for a long time, Power Suit. Power Suit just reminds me of, you know, 70s career women. It was that bold lip. It is 
super feminine and strong and it is one of my favourite lip shades of all time. The Modern Lip Definers, there are five shades and the reason that there are five shades is because the way that I love to do lipstick is to change the colour of my lipstick but using a lip liner. Especially with a, with a paler nudes like Vive and Treasure, you can completely change what they look like on your lips with a lip liner. So if you were to use the shade Treasure in the lipstick with the shade Bark in the lip definer, you would get a pretty 90s nude with a nice kind of brown lip Line. Whereas if you use something like Bra Lip Definer, that is going to make it so much pinkier. And it's just one of my favourite ways to play with my lip colour. I'm going to use Treasure today. The finish of the Modern Matte Lipsticks is it's a modern matte, so it's matte but it's not drying. It is long lasting but it also fades really beautifully. So I'm going to go in with the Lip Definer in Bar. You can use these to trace your natural lip line. You can push it out in certain areas to overdraw your lips. And another way that I love to wear them is by putting my lipstick on first and then using the lip liner on top top to change the shade of my lipstick and also to kind of push out the colour and to get that kind of 90s darker lip line, lighter lipstick look which I just love so much. So that's the shade Bark and I'm going to slightly go on to my top lip. I know that this is a bit of a favourite already. Okay now I'm going to go in with the lipstick Treasure and you can see it's got that peachy peachy tone on. And then one of my favourite ways to blend these is just with my finger. So I've gone for a pretty glam look today. It won't be the last look you'll see of me in Vive. So now that we've gone through all the products and I've told you a little bit about them, I've definitely forgotten something because I am really nervous sharing this with you. I wanted to kind of talk about the products themselves and the design and why they are the way they are. Something you'll notice throughout the whole collection is our little gold badges. So the packaging was hugely inspired by my like favourite accessories, black with gold hardware. So I just think it kind of adds something really special and it also ties the collection all together. The lipsticks themselves, have Vive embossed in the bullet. It just, I wanted everything to feel super luxe because that's what I love so much about makeup. All of our products are cruelty free and vegan. Before I even had created any products, that was at the top of our list, it just had to be. All of our products are made in Italy apart from the lip liners, which are made in Germany. Going back to the eyeshadow palette, something that's really surprised me with people starting to receive their products is that they're not realizing how huge this eyeshadow palette is and how big the pans are. So the eyeshadow palette itself it's super thin for makeup artist kits for sitting on your desk and for on your makeup bag but it is it is I suppose quite big it's the eyeshadow pans themselves they're all huge and I've got one of my palettes here that I really really love as well this is the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions I really like these little palettes I think they're great and I'm going to use it to just to show you for size reference so here's the Huda Beauty and then here is the Essential palette and that's what it's just I just love it so much Obviously I do. I'm bi I am probably biased. I am biased. Two more products. And actually, funnily enough, these were two of the first things to be finished. And I've actually been using these for the longest. I had to make makeup bags. I really love my makeup collection. And I love the products that I use every single day. And I want somewhere really nice to keep those products. So I created the Essential Bags. So this is the Essential Plus bag. And it is the perfect size for a full face of makeup and that's for a makeup lover it's the perfect size for someone who doesn't have quite as much makeup it's so great for keeping all your bits together your skincare as well and your brushes this is all the products that i used just now on my face and it's pretty much my daily face i keep in here it is a faux croc material again inspired by one of my favorite handbags that i've got by anina bing i just love the texture of it we've got the same gold hardware i also wanted it to be a clear pan on top and also clear panels around the sides so you can see all your products really easily and it's very easily cleaned you don't want your makeup bag getting makeup all over it and then you can't clean it so that's the essential plus bag and then this is the essential bag i have been using this as a flight bag for about a year and a half <laughs> it's also just such a nice bag to have for all your bits so in here at the moment i just pulled this out of my handbag i've got my pens i've got a modern lip definer i've got a pencil I can't remember the last time I used a pencil, like an actual writing pencil. And I've got some brow products. I must have taken this in the car when we were going somewhere. It's the same faux croc material, same clear panels, same gold badge. And the zip, it had to be a good zip, an easy zip, the best. So I've had these two for a really long time. And just for a size comparison, 
This is the Essential bag, and then this is the Essential Plus. So they're actually quite similar in size that way, but it's the depth is really different. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial. I'm really sorry if I'm nervous, but this um, is really taken me by surprise. I thought that I would be nervous up to launch, and then once we launched, I wouldn't be as nervous anymore. But I have been more nervous for people getting their products because I just, I really just hope everyone loves it as much as I do. Every time that someone tags me in an Instagram story of them opening their products, my heart is like, in my mouth I just can't believe it and already know that I'm going to learn so much from other people using our products. I say it's an essentials collection it's definitely a little bit selfish on my part but I really actually did create it with um, you all in mind so I'll just leave it there I hope you love the products thank you so much for the support and I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs> It's like, I said this before, it's, it's like I've been working on something, you know, by myself and I'm quite happy doing that. And then now that everyone can see it, I feel like I'm standing outside naked in the middle of the street and everyone can see inside my soul. <laughs> okay, I'm going to finish off the eye look. Oh God, I've moved to my inner corner. I'm literally picking up blusher. I don't even need blusher yet. Oh my God, cute. Oh my God, it's so hot in here. So I am going to chuck this on first. No, I'm not. See this shade. Oh my god. I know that Jacqueline's done the... Blah, blah, blah.